Welcome to another RNS Think 6 video. This time we are going to look into reconfigurable intelligent surfaces, which may allow the programming of the radio propagation environment. Reconfigurable intelligent surfaces are one of the most promising 6G technology candidates, amongst others, like sub-terahertz or terahertz communications, or artificial intelligence, or joint communication and sensing. RIS is about designing or modifying the radio propagation channel by means of meter materials. Obviously, the basic technical problem for future radio communication systems will remain the same. We want to transmit information bared by a signal or a radio signal S across the mobile radio channel H towards a receiver R. So far, the goal of the design of radio transmission schemes was always to optimize the use of the given target channel, which we describe in general as a time variant multipath channel. Therefore, we came up with concepts like cyclic prefix OFDM, MIMO schemes or specific modulation and coding schemes. Based on radio channel models, we achieved or derived from simulations and channel sounding measurements. Receiver architectures are designed as well to allow the best possible reception for the given transmission schemes and radio channel assumptions. In any case, so far, we took the radio channel as a matter of fact, with no means to change it. Now, RIS will change this paradigm and will allow to control the channel to a certain extent. Most relevant standardization organizations like ITU, IEEE, ETSI have started to look into RIS. For instance, ETSI just recently released a kind of general definition for RIS and lists the most interesting use cases. According to this definition, RIS will be part of the radio network in the future that will be controlled in order to adapt the radio channel to current needs from the device's or receiver's perspective. Thus, it will allow, for example, coverage extension, for instance, by overcoming or getting around obstacles. It will support certain MIMO-capable multipath channels or beamforming algorithms. The key to RIS are meter materials. That means man-made structures that allow the manipulation of electromagnetic waves which are impinging to the surface in terms of phase, amplitude and polarization. Thus, for instance, the reflected wave angle can be controlled, which allows a dynamic control of the coverage area. There are different kinds of meter materials supporting different frequency ranges. The most promising meter materials are semiconductor based using varactors or pin diodes. Another quite interesting meter material is liquid crystal based. When it comes to RIS testing, we need to talk about over the air testing. In a controlled environment, for instance, in an anechoic chamber, we need to illuminate the RIS under test and subsequently measure characteristics of the reflected wave. Relevant testing needs defined by regulatory bodies and possibly future conformance test needs according to 3GPP, for instance. We can regard the RIS as an intelligent antenna. Therefore, legacy antenna measurement setups can be used to measure the reflected signal in a three-dimensional manner with the impinging signal provided by a dedicated feed antenna. To measure the potential switching capabilities of RIS, supporting programmable reflecting angles, for instance, such a multi-angle measurement setup is required. With such a setup, you can even test whether the RIS supports intelligent beamforming algorithms. As RIS will become part of the radio network, it shall not have a negative impact on the wanted signal quality. Thus, 
performance testing is required as well to test any unwanted impact on the signal's EVM, for instance, or other signal quality parameters. This kind of risk performance testing should be done in all kinds of target systems. For instance, in cellular systems according to 3GPP or Wi-Fi systems according to IEEE. Finally, we need to check the risk in the field. Therefore, channel sounding is a way to check the wanted multipath creation by the RIS, for instance. Or we need to test the coverage extension by the installed RIS using dedicated signal scanners or test phones. Academia and industry players are pretty excited about the potential of RIS. Many big players are already working for future RIS applications market researchers already see its huge potential. And there are tons of publications out there already from academia and research institutes on the RIS topic. Well, RNS is definitely part of this RIS evolution. With our commitment to support mobile communications since the times of GSM, we are involved in a number of research and most relevant standardization activities, together with our partners in academia and industry. So what is the takeaway? Basically, academia and key industry players are exploring the boundaries and started looking into next generation of wireless communications, aka 6G. Reconfigurable intelligent surfaces enabled by meter materials, are judged one of the important and most promising key technologies to enhance radio coverage, spectral efficiency, reduce power consumption and tackle the radio propagation challenges. Roden Schwartz is actively engaged in this research topic, contributing our expertise in test and measurement for all aspects related to this promising technology. So this concludes my brief presentation on RIS. Thank you for watching and stay tuned.